Frozen ones, empaths, you can feel a huge void <clears throat> in your life after dealing with the narcissist. Life can feel rather empty. You have to understand that you had someone around you that was literally draining you day by day. And when you no longer have that individual around you as such, you can feel this emptiness. It's like a void in your life that can't be filled. You can feel rather alone, lonely. Even if you went through the worst type of abuse with the narcissist. It just seems like <clears throat> when they go, initially, whether you were discarded or you had to cut them off, either or either. There's this, there's this certain emptiness in your life. And I believe... What you should do with this emptiness is transition it into your purpose. That's what I believe the whole narcissistic awakening and part of your healing procedure is about you finding your purpose. You see, when we were with the narcissist, we was living day to day, maybe had a job, um... Maybe we was at home taking up, looking after the kids. Or maybe, maybe we didn't have a job. Regardless, we, maybe we just spent our time with the narcissist. But when they go from our lives, there's this, this, there's so much time you see to have on your hands. And we spend a lot of this time ruminating about the narcissist, ruminating about the relationship. And what I think um, the real scope that we should focus on from this experience is we do have time now for ourselves. And this time should be put into our healing procedure, which eventually transitions into finding our purpose. Because when you find your purpose and your meaning in this life, it fulfills that void that was once occupied by the narcissist. You see, they wasted so much of our time and our energy on a daily, daily basis um, that, yes, when they go, it does feel lonely. You do feel alone. You do have a lot of time on your hands. And if it's not, well, it's going to naturally happen. But if you're watching this video, it will help you along the way because it naturally happened for me. Naturally, I found my purpose. Naturally, I went through the process. But if I had a video like this that was telling me to find my purpose and my meaning, maybe I would have just <clears throat> overlooked it. Maybe the message wouldn't have resonated. But I feel like for a few of you out there, this, this might be able to help you, you know. You don't realise your talents when you're with the narcissist. You don't realise what you're good at. You don't, you don't, because you've been devalued. You don't realise that you, you've actually got blessings in abundance in your life and opportunities to better yourself or better your environment, you know. There can be a range of things that you can undertake, you know. For you, it might be, your mission might be making your house a home, right? Because I read a comment at once saying that they um, renovated their house or they done up their house, they decorated their house. And this was obviously what the narcissist was preventing them doing them in, in their lives. So when I say finding your purpose, it doesn't have to be something significant like a career change or anything like that. But finding some value and some meaning along the way, because it's like my situation, you know, I went and worked for a company abroad and that wasn't actually my purpose, but the client that I worked for was Google. And then it turned out that after I'd done that job, 
I then started using Google ads for my business and now I'm on YouTube. So really it's been this path of Google and YouTube or well, not YouTube towards the end. Only eight months ago I started the channel. But I'm saying I found some meaning in my life, especially when I started the business. You know, um, I found myself being occupied with trying to better my life. And that's why I say it could be something like renovating your home or it could be something like writing a book or writing a piece of music or doing something on, it could even be digital art, it could be anything, whatever your skill set is at, you know, because my skill set wasn't necessarily to be an entrepreneur. But I managed to start a successful business, maintain a successful business. And the only reason why it drew to a close was because it was certain technicalities in gray area, which I decided not to continue on in that industry. That's the only reason why it stopped. It wasn't actually um, through me not selling products or whatnot. I was selling products. I was paying my Google ad bill. Things were going well, you know, and it gave me that chance to really focus on life, on other things, other than people. We put so much um, in in the in the hands of other people, and that we need to have other people in our life to feel sufficed, you know, romantic partners, friends. And for me, this 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 ha- is not how it's worked out, you know. Some people need a companion. Some people need to have that companion. They go from relationship to relationship, and you know, for you, if that works for you, I I can't criticize you really. If that is if that's what works for you, but for me, after the narcissistic relationship. The last thing really ethically, after the initial period of loneliness, when I tried to, when I met a few other people, but then I saw their toxic traits, the last thing I wanted to do was settle down again and settle for someone and be involved in a relationship. And I've taken this path of self-discovery and finding my purpose. And I'm not saying that YouTube is my purpose. I don't know, it's still, I'm still on the discovery of finding my purpose in, in the world, but it's, it's an ever-going process that you transform and more and more opportunities present themselves, you know? Like, it might even be in your purpose to do YouTube, you know? You might start your own channel. I've heard of other survivors, I've met other survivors that have, started their own channel now and they're on their own journey and they're sharing their own life experience exactly the way that I'm sharing my life experience as well, right? But what I'm saying to you is, is these people prevent us from finding our true meaning in life. They're literally like dream assassins. They, they stop us from evolving and developing in the right way. They stunt our development. They stunt us. They stunt our ascension. They stunt our growth. They stunt us finding our purpose and our meaning. Okay? They do this. And it it's when you're alone after the relationship. It's when you finally realize and understand how much time was wasted on these individuals. And how you can facilitate this time in a better area, focusing on your meaning, focusing on your purpose. And I know you might say, now Zion, I don't know what my meaning is. I don't know what my purpose is. I am heartbroken. I am distraught. And yes, that's exactly where you need to be. Because you're in a place of, you've got time. And it's how we construct our time, right? That's what it's about. It's when you it's, it's it's how you construct 
your time. So it might be, it can be anything. We've all got talents. We've all got talents and you'll find these talents. Just continue on your healing journey and you will walk into things and opportunities that will present themselves and you'll realise how much of a waste of time this narcissist was in your life, you know. This absence that you, you, that you have from the narcissist, from the narcissistic relationship, it's that that you turn into your purpose and you will find your purpose along your way. It's part of the process. And you'll realise that you're so happy that this relationship come to an end, otherwise you would have never stumbled upon this. I would have never gone and worked abroad. I would have never started my own business. I would have never started YouTube. So I'm glad in the path that my, has been laid out for me. And your path will be laid out for you too. I promise you that. So just try and focus and think what you can bring constructive to the world. What, what your skill set as a human being can bring to the world. What you can bring into fruition. Right? And just just ponder upon that. In between rumination of the narcissist, it's going to happen naturally. But I'm just giving you a push in the right direction to show you that that's what you need to be focusing on. So if you're freshly out of a relationship and you're understanding this information, it might not sink in right now. But further down the line, you might remember and say, hold on, Zion was saying that about my purpose. And this opportunity has arisen. And now, you know, now I'm doing this. Now I'm doing that. And. This is how it will work out. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can find a link in the description box. And if you'd like a one-to-one -one session with myself, you can also find a link in the description box. Currently, I've got a secondary channel, a spiritual channel. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.